In this morning's Health Watch, man's best friend. Dogs help people in a hundred different ways, and scientists now believe they may be the key to finding a cure for a deadly form of brain cancer. As Debbie Turner-Bell reports, doctors in Minnesota are developing a treatment that's already helping dogs and humans. When Angie Hiley was told her dog Jack had a brain tumor, she thought there was no hope for his survival. We would most likely have to put him down or just there were real, no real options. Jack, how are you? Then she heard about an experimental treatment that is extending dogs' lives at the University of Minnesota Veterinary Hospital. Dogs with a glioma, if they're untreated, they live on average a month, maybe two at the most. Veterinary surgeon Dr. Liz Pluhar teamed up with researcher Dr. John Olfest to conduct clinical trials on dogs with brain tumors, using Olfest's novel approaches to stopping the progression of the disease. We're using a combination of gene therapy and vaccines. So vaccines have been tried and gene therapy has been tried. So the, co the combination is new. The therapy includes creating a vaccine from the patient's cancer cells that stimulates the patient's own immune system to fight the tumor and perhaps even prevent reoccurrence. I do not see any tumor. I don't see any tumor either. Dogs seem to be the perfect guinea pigs. Oh, do you want a belly rub? Oh, they share our genetics, our environment, our food. The tumors they get are more like ours than what we were working with in the lab. The beauty of this is that we're benefiting the dogs because these are patients with a problem that we're treating, and the results will now go to help benefit people as well. The therapy was so successful, there we go. an astounding 95% of the dogs treated got better, that human trials were fast-tracked and began just two short years later. Ready? I'm ready. John Hulls is one of the first humans now receiving the experimental cancer vaccine. I'm just thrilled beyond belief to be included in this study. This is um, nothing short of an extension of life. This is also a last-ditch effort for Hulls. Even after two surgeries, radiation and chemotherapy, his tumor kept growing back. You really can't tell which image is from when. So this is okay. a really nice, stable image. So far, um, he's responding well to this treatment. It's a day-to-day, -day, you know, hope for good news and hope for, hope for improvement. But Hulls never imagined he'd share this journey with a dog. Well, I've never been a huge dog. Um, owner or supporter, but we bonded immediately because I, I recognized right away how, how that dog contributed to, to the success of this program. How close is this therapeutic approach bringing you to curing this type of cancer? That's a, that's a hard question to answer. I would call what we're doing, the comparative oncology approach, a giant leap. We also have a human cells. We feel like we're getting closer to something that's going to be a breakthrough. A breakthrough for man and man's best friend. Jack is now healthy and cancer free. We obviously were excited about the fact that it could prolong his life potentially for a few years. John Hall's brain tumor has not gotten any bigger since July. Debbie Turner Bell, CBS News, St. Paul, Minnesota.